Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker, head of ARIS at Clayton State University Library, and today I want to talk with you about MLA formatting. What is MLA formatting? The Modern Language Association style is one of the most common structures used for essays and research papers in academic settings, predominantly in humanities and liberal arts. English papers are typically done in this style. There are several ways to get help with formatting and citations. The MLA Handbook, the MLA Website, and the Online Writing Lab at Purdue. Clayton State Library has two copies of the MLA Handbook 8th edition. You can ask for it at the Reference or Circulation Desk. Be sure that all of your MLA formatting is done according to the 8th edition as there have been changes made from the 7th. The MLA website itself is a good source of information. Go to style.mla.org. This site has tips on setting up your paper, doing citations, and they even have a questions and answer section called Ask the MLA. Plus, you can test your knowledge with quizzes. You can also visit the OWL at Purdue for more tips. Go to owl.purdue.edu slash owl slash research and citation slash resources dot html. When you get to the website, look on the left side for the menu. Under research and citation, look for MLA style and then MLA formatting and style guide. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see MLA sample paper. And this is really helpful because you can see what your paper would look like once you're finished with it. This sample paper includes text boxes to give explanations for writing in the MLA style. Now let's talk about basic MLA formatting. I'm going to open Word, and I'm going to show you how you can format your paper as you're writing it. Your paper should be double spaced, and your margins should be one inch. So in Microsoft Word, we would go to Layout, Paragraph, and Spacing. The before and after should be zero, and line spacing should say double, and then we click OK. That gives us double spacing. Now under layout again, we can look at margins and double check to make sure that they are set on one inch, and so they are. Use a 12 point times New Roman font. You can change the font under the Home tab. We'll just change this to 12. Now you need to do a running head. The running head page numbers begin on the first page and are on all pages. You can do this in the Word program by going to Insert, Header and Footer, Page Number, Top of Page, and Plain Number 3. Also, you should type your last name next to the page number in the header so that it shows on all pages. Your running head should be one inch from the right side of your paper. In other words, there is a one inch right margin. In order to get out of the running head, you just press Escape, and you'll see that it shows up at the top of the page. There is normally no cover page unless your professor has required one. On the left side of your first page, you will type your name, your professor's name, the course number,
and the date. As you're typing date, make sure that it is in day, month, and year format. Next, we're going to type our title. We need to center the title, so we're just going to highlight our title. And we'll go up to the Home tab and choose Centered. So now our title is centered. Now we're going to type our first paragraph. We don't want it to be centered, so let's go back to the Home tab and Paragraph, and we're going to align left, so that takes off the centering. Now before we go any further with this, let's go ahead and double check our measurements for our paper. The way that we can do that is to go up to View and click on the tick box that's next to Ruler, and you'll see this makes our ruler come up. When we begin the first paragraph, we want to use our tab button to indent one half inch, and our ruler shows us that this is exactly what we've done. So we'll start our first paragraph. Every paragraph after this will also be indented one half inch. Now let's talk about the Works Cited page. I'm going to go down to the next page. So let's say that I've already written my paper and I'm getting ready to do the Works Cited page. So you type Works Cited at the top of your page. And you can select this because you want it to be centered. So we're going to go back up to Home under Paragraph and choose Centered. Okay, now this is centered. So now we're going to go down double space, and this is where we're going to start our first citation. We have a second citation also. Now we need to format these. We're going to highlight the first one, and we're going to give it a hanging indent. So what we want to do is go up to Layout and Paragraph, and under Special for Indentation, we want to choose Hanging Indentation. And this is a special style where every line after the first line is going to be indented one half inch. We want to do each one of our entries like this. So let's go ahead and select our second entry. And we're going to do the same sort of thing. We go to Layout, Paragraph, and Hanging. So now we have both of our citations and hanging indentation. Type your next entries and make them the same way if they go over one line each. If you have more specific questions, you can use our chat feature on our main web page. It's clayton.edu slash library, and this is called Welcome to LibChat, Ask a Librarian. Or you can contact us by phone. The reference desk phone number is 678-466-4346.